Hey everyone, so I have a new dash cam to review today, and this comes from a company called, I'm not sure if it's pronounced Rick, Ricolar, Ricolar, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm probably butchering that. Anyway, they sent this over to me, and this is a dual dash cam, and it does 4K in the front, and it's supposed to be 2K in the back. Now, a lot of the other ones that I've done, you usually got either 2K or 4K in the front, but the rear was only 1080p, so I am definitely curious to see if the rear works pretty well on this. All right, so in the box, we get another little box. Let's pull everything out of here. I'll just pull everything out and then show you everything that comes inside. Okay, so inside the box, we have our user manual. We have a long cable. This is gonna be for your rear camera. In the front, you're gonna have a Type-C connection, and in the rear, you're gonna have one of these little round ones, uh, pretty similar to all the other ones that I've done, except I don't think they had a Type-C. I'd have to double check that. Then we have our rear camera, which you'll see will plug right into that round cord. We also have a GPS unit here, so that will, or a GPS antenna. All right, and then we have a fairly long charge cable here. It is a uh, mini USB, I haven't seen that one lately. And then with the plug, you also have an adapter here for your like USB, so you can plug your phone in. You don't have to lose your cigarette lighter. You do get a little suction cup mount for your windshield or your dash, wherever you're gonna put it. You got some little clips that you can put on the windshield at the top to hold your wires in. You also got the little pry bar so you can get up in the liner and put it up there. And then for the camera itself, here is the unit. Uh, it is a little bit thicker compared to what I'm used to. It does have a TF slot so you can put your micro SD. It did say that it was rated for up to 256 gigabytes, so you can put a pretty decent card in there. And uh, the way that these will work is that you'll, you'll set your interval for your recording, and as it keeps recording, it will delete the oldest files once it fills up. And uh, of course, if there's something you want, download those files, lock them, whatever it might be. You got all your little mode buttons, and uh, what I'll do is I'll get this set up, and then I'll show you inside the car how it works and then we'll take it for a drive and all that stuff. It may take me a couple days to work on this just because it's been raining, uh, but we will get this installed and I will be back in a couple days to give you my review on it. Okay, so what I ended up doing was running a wire through the underliner, ran it up through here, mounted it on the outside, and, got, and then I had to redo everything here, but mine was a little bit more work because I had to take the spoiler off to get it up in there. I ran the wire all the way up to the front and there's still several feet left of the wire. All right, so I'm probably gonna have to show these features and everything once it gets a little darker and I can actually record this a little bit better. It's a little too bright outside, so it's gonna be a little hard for it to show up. Uh, right now I'm getting ready to do the app. There is an app that you can get. You can either do a search for it or there is a QR code in the book. I do need to get this set up. Right now we're at 4K and 2K. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just drive around, uh, get some recording, get some footage. Once it gets dark enough, I will do the app portion and just kind of show you settings on the camera as well. That way it picks it up on here. Quick audio test. Looks like downtown is pretty dead right now. Quick audio test. Looks like downtown is pretty dead right now. All right, so I decided to bring this back in, make it a little easier to show. It was too bright in the, you know, out in the sun and everything. Uh, right now we got two or 4K, 2K. When you first turn it on, it's going to be recording. You're going to press this button here. It's going to stop it, pause it, and then you got some different settings you could do. You can go into your like folder and you can get some uh, your files. So you got your parking, you got your regular folder recordings. So you can go in there and you can get that. Uh, you also have your settings and your Wi-Fi. So you got your record settings. If you go in there, you got your resolution. You could do either 4K, 2K, or you could do 2K, 2K. Uh, you got loop recording where you could do one, three, or five minutes, dual cam display. Your audio, so you could choose to record audio or not. 
state stamp, G sensor, uh, mirror switch now on the G sensor. You will have to hardwire it. As you can see though, there is some battery life to this. It's not plugged in, uh, but they do say to hardwire it for that. Then we go into our system settings. And from here, you have your screensaver, your time display, your Wi-Fi, date, time, beep sound, language, parking monitor, time lapse, frequency, fatigue driving reminder, time zone. You also have uh, GPS information. So if it's plugged into the GPS, you'll be able to see all the satellites. Right now it's not plugged into anything. Uh, that antenna is out in the car. You can format your SD card in here, defaults, version information, your app QR code. Uh, you can open that up. You can get your QR code, get download the app. And then from there, you can transfer files back and forth from that. Uh, the the Wi-Fi, you'll have to turn that on in here. So you'll go into your system settings. Go into your Wi-Fi, turn it on. And then it's going to tell you what the SSD is. And it's going to tell you the password. This is going to be what you're going to connect to. Do not connect to your home network. This is what you connect to. When you go into your phone, you go into your settings, you turn on your networks, you're going to see that re, the Resolar, Regalar, whatever that's pronounced. Passwords, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's not going to be any internet. This is Wi-Fi through the camera itself. Now we have Ad Recorder. Here we go. I see it it's starting to turn on. All right, at least for me, I had some issues with the app. Um, I know all my dash cams, I never use the app personally. I just take the SD card out and put it in my computer. Anyway, the dash cam does work pretty well. It does have a pretty decent picture. I would say the app doesn't work the greatest, at least not for me, but the dash cam itself does work pretty well.